ओके सो दिस इज़ द नेक्स्ट वीडियो इन आवर कंटिन्यूशन ऑफ अवर फास्ट ईयर पे सीरीज सो इन द लास्ट वीडियो वट वी डिड इज वी हैव क्रिएटेड ए डोकर फाइल लेट मी शो यू सो वी हैव क्रिएटेड ए डोकर फाइल एंड वी हैव डिप्लॉय आवर लाइक एप्लीकेशन द फास्ट ईयर पे एप्लीकेशन यूजिंग द डोकर फाइल एंड वट वी डिड इज इन द लास्ट वीडियो इज बेसिकली एंड फर्स्ट वी बिल्ड द इमेज बट आवर डाटा बेस इज रिसाइड ऑन द लोकल होस्ट सो वी नीड ए वे हाउ द एप्लीकेशन विच रिजाइड इन द डोकर कंटेनर शुड कनेक्ट विद द डाटा बेस विच रिजाइड ऑन द लोकल होस्ट सो वी डिड सम चेंजेस इन द कन्फिग्रेशन फाइल एंड द पोस्ट एक्सप्रेस एच एच बी ए कन्फिग्रेशन फाइल एंड देन वी रन लाइक दिस कमांड लाइक बट if you notice if i have to run the docker again and again i have to again submit this command right and it's very complicated command it's a very like uh, a lengthy command and right now we have only like uh, one container and uh, let's suppose in future we have created a multiple microservices let's suppose this is the one microservices and uh, there could be one another microservice there could be one another microservice and all the microservices are uh, connected with each other right so what we have to do is like uh, we have to uh, like create the image for all the microservices uh, we have to uh, run the container we have to stop the container again and again and uh, which is which becomes a very complicated process right so <coughs> we have the concept of the docker compose right so using the docker compose uh, we can like uh, just uh, issue one command only we can like build the images we can start the all the containers uh, whatever we want we can stop all the containers so in this video we will see how to use the docker compose okay so first uh, before starting we have to check whether the docker compose is installed or not so we just give docker compose hyphen v it will show you the version so right now i am using the version 1.2.26.2 right so this is the version right and uh, let's suppose it is not installed then you can install it uh, just by google it how to install the docker compose but generally when you install the docker docker compose like uh, uh, already installed uh, with the docker itself okay now <coughs> docker compose is installed so what next we have to like uh, create a yaml file right and the name of the which yaml file should be docker compose.yml so let's create a yaml file do and it should be created in the in the same directory where our docker file is placed so let's create uh, docker compose dot yml okay so uh, and we know like in the yaml file like uh, the values are in the form of a key value pair like in the form of a dictionary only like key and the value key and the value okay so as i told you why we use the docker com uh, compose and let's suppose if we have the multiple uh, applications and we want to start the and both are and all are interrelated and we have to start the uh, container all the container in a single run so we use the docker compose so let's suppose we have the multiple applications so we have the services what all services we have so right now we have only one one services and let's give a some name any name you can give like service one any name you can give so i am giving a name as a web because this is our web services all right but okay fine <coughs> now you can give is uh, like uh, image uh, what is the image of our service right now we don't have an image but we have to create image because if you see like how we are creating uh, like uh, in the last video how how we processed first we create a docker file all right so once the docker file is ready we like run the docker build command right so we run the docker build command which created the image and then we once the image has been created or you can say the container has been created then we like uh, started the container right so the same steps we have to do in into the docker compose so first we have to build the image because we are building the image from our docker file so first step should be build and it should be build only like the keyword should be build you can't write any other keyword it is only build keyword instead of web that is basically a service name so you can like a change any name you can say web1 web2 or service1 service2 any any name you can give but here you have to give the build okay 
now you have to give the path of the docker file so where is the path our docker file is placed in our current directory only so where the docker compose is present it is present into the current directory okay then what what next like build is done okay this command is done right now we have to run the docker so while running the docker we we are like defining so many environment variables right we are defining the network and we can give the port as well so let's give the port as well port okay so we are running the application on the 8000 either you give the port or not it doesn't matter because uh, like uh, if you will not give the port by default it is using the 8000 but let's suppose you want to run the application on some another port then you have to like uh, mention here okay now we have to give the environment variables okay so what what all the environment variables so first is the db name testing just copy it db name testing but here we have the key value pair so give colon now what is the second environment variable name db port so basically like uh, using the docker compose we don't have to like uh, execute step 4 and step 5 just using the same same step single single command and uh, like uh, we can execute uh, both the steps so give all the environment variables okay now give db pass db host okay so this is done what has left uh, network is left so let's give the network as well network is called host so we have defined like uh, all the things we have defined the build so build command is done so what it will do first it will go to the services it will find okay but all the services uh, have there the, the name of the service is web okay so first it has first it will run the build so you uh, we did not give any image so it will search the current directory within the current directory it will find the docker file it will like build the image once the image has been built then it has to run so using all this parameter it will run the container okay so this is done <coughs> let's save it right now i have write the docker compose file but how should i know whether the syntax in the docker compose file is correct or not so i have to run the command docker compose config so now it says that whatever the, uh, the like uh, uh, docker compose i have written it is wrong by like uh, intentionally like i made it wrong uh, i write it wrong uh, to show you this command so this is very useful command uh, like uh, to check whether the syntax of the docker compose file is correct or not okay so it says that you are using the slash tab parameter uh, tab uh, into the line number two o open the docker compose so in the line number two i have used the tab but here we have to give only two spaces so one sorry one two okay save it if you run again now it it shows in the line number three you have to give you are using the uh, slash t right so in line number three as well i am using the slash t so here i have to give one spaces two spaces and then three four like two spaces for this and then further two more spaces so same thing we have to do for uh, all like uh, all the things okay so rather than the tab like uh, it will accept the spaces okay let's save it now let's run again it said in the line number 12 
ओके लेट चेक लाइन नंबर ट्वेल्व इट कुड नॉट फाइंड एक्सपेक्टेड कोलन ओके इन द लाइन नंबर थर्टीन एज वेल लाइन नंबर ट्वेल्व कुड नॉट फाइंड कोलन द कोलन इज देयर एंड लाइन नंबर थर्टीन ओके आई थिंक द नेम शुड बी इन इज इट नेटवर्क होस्ट और नेटवर्क लेट मी क्रॉस चेक वन मिनट सो इट इज बेसिकली नेटवर्क मोड ओके इन द कमांड वी हैव द नेटवर्क बट हेयर वी हैव टू गिव द नेटवर्क मोड लेट सेव इट नाउ लेट चेक अगेन ओके लुक्स ओके नेटवर्क मोड एवरीथिंग लुक्स ओके टू मे ओके या नाउ इट इज सेइंग दैट द वेब दैट इज अ अनसपोर्टेड ऑप्शन व्हाई इट इज सेइंग बिकॉज आई एम यूजिंग द डॉकर वर्जन Sorry, Docker Compose. I'm using the version number one. So in the version number one, it is mandatory to use the keyword as a version. So let's give any version. Let me give one. Okay, so now uh, it is saying that uh, Docker Compose, you might be seeing the error because you are using the wrong Compose file version. Okay, either you use the survey definition or root of the file to use the root of one. Okay, so the supported version is two or three. So they told that supported version is two or three. So let me give latest version three. Okay, now uh, some other error. Uh, contains DB name testing, which is invalid type. It should be a string. Okay. So they told that it should be a string. So what I believe is here we are giving in a quotes. So I think we have to give in a quotes. Okay, so port is wrong. Do you mean ports? Is it ports or port? Uh, let me cross check. so it should be ports let me save it now let me again check now i am not getting any error so it means our, our docker compose is perfectly okay all right so let's check uh, docker images so right now i have the i have the two images uh, let me remove this docker rmi images uh, dollar docker images minus aq what basically i am doing is like i am removing all the images okay so docker images so nothing is there and docker ps no container is there neither the stop container okay and uh, is our app is uh, running no our app is also not running so now what we have to do is in our file docker composed by ml is present earlier what we are doing is we are running these two commands docker build and docker run and within the docker run we are passing all this information all right now we don't have to do uh, all this thing because uh, we have uh, created the uh, docker compose file all right and within this we have mentioned build we have mentioned like uh, uh, run commands all the information so just Execute one command: Docker compose. 
up minus d minus d means detachment mode so that it should run at the back end okay just hit enter now it is building web so first option is our web right first it will build the image then it will run the image so just wait for few seconds so whatever the uh, options we have like performed here now it is like uh, doing these two things in a single command generally in the real time applications like uh, we not use the we never run uh, <coughs> execute this command manually we use the concept of the docker compose because generally we have not the one one container we have the multiple container in, in the concept of the microservices and right now i am using the database as the local host but let's suppose you are using the database in the container then you have to start the database container as well so in that case you have to start the database container separately so rather than starting the database container separately just mention one more service in the into the dot yaml file so now it is like a, a build a build step is starting and within the build shadow i give dot and dot means like a, it will execute the docker file and within the docker file i have for five step and the first step is fetch the uh, like uh, this official image okay so let me pause the video so see step 1 is completed uh, step 2 is started like uh, from the docker file and do docker compose step 1 is running that is the build but within the docker uh, build uh, docker uh, file is running so of the docker file it is running the second step that is copying uh, all the file from the testing to to our like uh, app folder now it will install the requirement of txt so let me pause it <coughs> so requirements are installing so it's almost completed okay step 4 is running step 5 is running okay now everything is, is completed now it has created the like uh, test app, uh, app web underscore one because the service is web folder is test step so automatically it will give a, a name otherwise like generally we give the name here like my app image but now it gave the image so if you check docker images so automatically it gave the image test app, uh, app underscore web okay so along with the within the same command docker compose up it started the container docker ps so you could see like the container has been started using the name so if i go to the local host now my application should be running so my application is up and running so we can create the items we can update the items right So everything is like uh, perfectly working okay okay so in this video we see like uh, and now yes if you have to stop the container so just give docker compose down so now no container is running right and if you refresh it so our application has been stopped so just using one command docker compose or docker compose down we have like uh, build the image we have start the uh, container as well so this is like very useful rather than uh, writing uh, these lengthy commands right and we will like generally uh, do a mistake and uh, why this is also useful like uh, uh, because uh, let's suppose if we have in future we have one more services like one more micro services or the database services what we can do under the uh, like let's put this uh, another service uh, let's put another service web one so we give the web one and then we have to build that service as well let's suppose from some image or if we are not building from the docker file then we can directly give the image name let's suppose image name is nginx if we give the image name it will download the image from the docker hub otherwise we can like uh, build our own image from the uh, docker file give using the build so we can like uh, give as many services as we want so just using the one command all the services get built all the container will be get started and using the one command only that is docker compose down all the containers will get stopped 
ओके सो या दैट इज़ द एंड ऑफ द वीडियो थैंक यू